Good day. This is Michael Bender from the Center for Fiscal Equity, and these are our video comments to go with our official written comments to the Senate Finance Committee regarding examining the impact of South Dakota versus Wayfair on small business and remote sales. This hearing will take place on June 14th, and I will this and this should post about about uh, two hours before the the, the, the it goes live. Um, I've attached our tax reform proposals to provide context for these comments. Uh, now these proposals have changed. Uh, taxation and dividends and interest have been shifted to the high income surtax and higher tiers of and higher tiers of the subtraction VAT. Uh, this is appropriate because the SVAT is designed to capture both capital and wage income, and it's, this is change is consistent with that principle. Uh, Fifty years ago, cash registers were not computerized. Um, for those of us who remember remember that, uh, the, this forced cashiers to either use math to determine sales taxes or refer to a table provided by the state revenue department. And I have seen those tables as I am of an age. Uh, we've come a long way since then. Online ordering programs now easily calculate and allocate sales tax payments on interstate transactions. Uh, if goods and services Value-added taxes were the rule, rather than, than sales taxes. The wafer case would not have had would not have come up. Taxes would have already been embedded in the price. There would have been no incentive for tax avoidance to keep customers happy. Um, instead, states would have been more aggressive in seeking interstate compacts to redistribute that last bit of value added at point of sale. Um, in the current regime, firms that collect sales taxes receive sales taxes paid out through their federal income tax filing. In other words, it's deductible. Uh, in essence, the United States already has a value-added tax, um, except that they're also an intergovernmental transfer, meaning you know, the, the feds don't take anything, but they give you back <laughs> what you've paid. Um, nice work if you can get it. We advocate um, a national goods and services tax, also known as an invoice tax, VAT, to fund military and civil discretionary spending, and in a line item um, for taxes to the invoice creates downward pressure on such spending, uh, passing a constitutional amendment to allow regional excise taxes uh, and spending would introduce competition to cut discretionary spending even more. In other words, states would be competing against each other to lower their tax rates, which means they would be also competing against each other to lower Discretionary spending within, you know, that includes military spending. Um, at the same time, adding a consumption tax reduces any advantage to borrow from assets to avoid taxes on current consumption or to seek tax advantage schemes to eliminate inheritance taxes. This includes life insurance, establishing trusts, and advocating against the death tax. People spend money on doing that. Um, if there is no death tax, but you, the money you spend is taxed anyway, you think they're going to still fund, fund the... End the, dex ta end the death tax uh, bandwagon? No, they will not, uh, because it won't get them anything. Uh, we also propose a subtraction VAT, um, SVAT, to collect taxes to either be submitted to the government to fund social services, health care, family income, educationals, education, or create tax expenditures so that employers would simply provide family income and services in lieu of paying taxes. In other words, your work, your your workplace will pay your child's tuition or will give money to the local school board um, or make a donation um, to um, fund um, scholarships in your name to whatever school you wish. Um, in essence, this would be the, and you know, they would pay out the, the, the um, child tax credit without having to go have it filed for without have you having to file a form, they would file the form instead, and they would help take care of your health insurance based on that, um, or not take care of it, and and uh, have a single payer system take care of it with that income, um, and you know, and and the um, at the state level, education would be, um, well, I'm getting to that, but in essence, this would be the fair tax without prebates. Or, or the covert effort to end support for needy families through the tax system. In other words, the fair tax sought to, to give nothing but a prebate for taxes that would be paid rather than, you know, the $1,000 per year or now 3000 Now it's back to $2,000 uh, for each child. Uh, 
it was a rather backhanded way to to end um, negative income taxes, which were Milton Friedman idea actually. But the federal subtraction of that is not relevant to our discussion. A local one is. Uh, there would be no in, inter, interstate or international adjustment because a state and local subtraction VAT would be used to fund benefits to employees and their families. They are a placeholder for cooperative eco, a cooperative economy in which employee-owned firms would provide health, social insurance, and education services to employees and their families as well as income support for larger families. In other words, you wouldn't need the government. Eventually, the government wouldn't have to do anything with this because employee-owned firms would, uh, because they will be smarter than capitalists. In a co mature cooperative economy, the, the federal SVAT would be unnecessary. Firms would simply do the right thing on family income in a way that is not possible today because of market disincentives to provide more family income, regardless of in individual productivity. Uh, these circumstances are why the child tax credit at medium income levels is the only moral choice for now. Um, you know, if, if you have an employee-owned cooperative, then you sell your stuff by making sure their families have enough money to buy the stuff. So um, it's just, it's, it's a better economic balance. Um, thank you very much um, for this exploration into um, taxation in the, in the modern internet age. Um, it's, it has l less to do with, um, with the Wayfair decision, but everything to do with it. So um, if we got taxes right, there wouldn't have been the need for, for a Wayfair decision. So let's get them right. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a pleasant day.